you can apply to this visa that will enable you stay in Sweden for nine months straight. Uh, but if they gave you, uh, maybe if you were given this visa and, and it wasn't up to nine months, you can always extend it to nine months. You don't need a job offer for this. You don't need IETS. You don't need IETS for this program. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply. Uh, we are going to be seeing this work permit form together. So uh, you don't need any, like I, I'll say again, you don't need a job offer for this program. So you are coming to Sweden now. You are coming to Sweden now to uh, search for a job. You see how amazing it is? You don't need to uh, wait back home before when you get a job before you can move down to Sweden. You can just come to Sweden, apply for this um, visa, come to Sweden and search for a job. <coughs> if you are already in Sweden as a student, this is an opportunity for you. Instead of you feeling when you graduate, you want to come back home, you can apply for this program too. While you are searching for a job. Hello family, welcome to the Chichi Show. This is a very nice video. A very good one. You want to go to Europe? Then grab this opportunity. Uh, and try to watch this video to the end because... I am just going to take my time. I want you guys to understand uh, this program. So, so that after you finish watching it, if you're interested, which I think you should, then you will apply for this program because nothing will be holding you back because you don't need a job offer. You don't need to have a job offer in Sweden for you to apply for this visa. Okay, they call it Job Seekers Visa. Sweden, they just launched it. Australia used to have, Australia has one. Uh, sorry, Austria has one, uh, Germany has one, Portugal has one, so Sweden just added, okay, Sweden just created their own, which we are happy about, and just to let you know, don't be scared, don't say, oh, Chichi, how about the language barrier, they do teach English in their schools, okay, they do speak, they uh, teach English in their schools, uh, so they do speak English too, so language is not a barrier, so we're going to be seeing it while we... Uh, when we want to uh, apply, we will see how to apply. So uh, before we get to see this amazing program, that you should grab the opportunity. If you haven't subscribed to this amazing channel, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, turn your notification bell so that next time when I upload a good video like this, you will be notified. For my older new subscribers, thank you so, so very much. So Sweden launches new residence visa for job seekers and entrepreneurs so if you are an entrepreneur and you want to still go to sweden and set up a business this is an opportunity for you you don't need to you can just go there apply go there and go set up your business so looking to move to sweden but you don't have a job offer yet Thanks to the new Sweden Job Seeker Visa, suitable qualified professionals can enter Sweden for up to nine months to look for employment or start their own business. Let's have a look at this residence uh, program below. Uh, Sweden jobs, Sweden's Job uh, Seeker Residency program at a glance. We're just going to be seeing everything at a, at a glance. Uh, for the majority of people getting a, getting a job getting a job or marrying a foreigner is the only way to obtain a residency in europe not everyone can afford to spend uh 250 000 uh, euro plus on a swiss uh, uh, portugal uh, portuguese golden visa for example just citing an example but successfully applying for a job overseas from your home country is notoriously difficult the good news is that Sweden recently joined Germany, Austria, Portugal in launching a new residency visa to attract skilled professionals in particular. All these countries have aging populations, uh, which is having a negative effect on the size of their uh, respective labor pools and ultimately on their economic 
competitive uh, competitiveness competitive competitiveness <laughs> the new visa category aims to streamline residency applications for qualified foreigners and again you have to be outside of sweden okay this is for our people outside of sweden uh for those i said about the graduate program all right if you are in in sweden there's a kind of a separate program for you which uh, we might look at it in this video or we'll do it in another video okay uh just i just said i should clarify that so the new visa category aims to streamline uh, residence applications for qualified foreigners and to attract especially younger skilled people to the country as a suitable qualified professional you will be able to apply for temporary resident permits in sweden while you look for the work or start your own business why the the program appears to be looking at, at looking be looking at attractive attracting entrepreneurs and and um and so-called solo opinions in particular this residency permit should also work well as a start-up visa too so the permit is, initial, is initially issued for a period of three to nine months so if the permit is issued for less than nine months then you can renew for a period of up to nine months so you can always stay in with this program in sweden for nine months so before nine months why not if you're already in the country why not you're gonna get a job so thereafter you have to move to another residence permit category eg you we have to have secured employment in sweden by them in order to stay okay so uh what are the key residence requirements so this is important that we know so you must hold an advanced level degree that is recognized by Sweden and plan to find a job in this industry or start a valuable business in this field. And so if you have been studying in Sweden and now wish to extend your stay to look for a work, there's another specific residence category enabling you to look for work after your studies. You can find the requirement for this type uh type of permit for graduates here so let's see if we still have time we can just look at that but let's just con uh, concentrate on this job seeker visa for and for, for and also entrepreneurs visa so you must hold a passport that will be valid for the entire duration of your stay in sweden you must have your financial means to support yourself for the duration of your stay comprehensive health insurance is required for the entire duration of your stay intended to stay or a duration of your intended stay you presently have to reside outside of sweden you have to reside that was why i had to correct that my first statement the graduate one has their own program okay they have their own program that you can also use to start working in Sweden if you study there. So, but for this particular program, you have to be residing outside of Sweden. Okay. So, what are the academic requirements for the Swedish uh, job or seeker visa? So, Sweden recognizes a degree as an advanced level so uh so that's to say if you have a degree then if they uh, co correspond to the following swedish equ uh, equivalent qualification a 60 uh credit master's degree a 120 credit master degree a 60 to 30 credit professional degree or a, a phd level degree so that's from, from bsc to phd okay that's the education requirement uh, what documents are required to apply? And uh, a duly completed resident permit application form, which we're going to be looking at. A copy of your uh, passport showing your name, your photo, the passport is your uh, uh, expiring date. If if you hold any other valid visa or resident permit, include copies of those as well. Digital copy of examination certificate 
um, your transcripts indicating the course you completed. So the reason for the transcript is for them to uh, know the course that you completed. Uh, bank statement. Uh, so you need to have uh, 1,270. So they expect you that your expenses will be 1,275 us dollars if you convert to us dollars that's per month okay so if you are living so if you are living for nine months so you calculate 1275 times nine okay uh that's what you need to have in your bank account as a proof of funds and you have to have your comprehensive health insurance mm -hmm. the qualification a verification consent letter as part of your application then finally you must be able to pay the relevant application fee online either by credit or by debit uh, how can I apply for the Swedish Swedish uh, job seeker visa program so if you are eligible to use the Swedish uh, Im uh, immigrate immigration uh, uh, agency then this is the online e-service platform you can apply for the job seeker uh resident online but if you are not then you can go to your local uh, swedish um, embassy or your consulate close to your country if you don't have your country go to the one in, if you in your country so you can go to the an embassy that is in your consulate that is in your country to apply but if you don't have one in your country then you can go to uh, the one close by okay the country that's closest to your country to go apply the embassy there to go apply so uh you can assess a list of sweden embassies and consulate here we're going to see that then if your application is successful you'll be issued uh with a sweden residency card if you need an uh, entry visa to travel to sweden you have to contact your local swedish embassy to schedule an applica application appointment and you have your biometric data capture before then okay and uh, so if you don't have an entry visa to assess uh, sweden initially you have to have your biometric data capture once you arrive in sweden so the major uh literally the major thing that you, they are going to give you once you're successful, they will give you this uh, uh, Sweden residence card. Okay, they'll give you that Sweden residence card. So, uh, if you want to use an, an entry visa, is left to you, then you contact your embassy to get that. So, while you're doing that, before you go to your embassy, make sure you do your biometric first. Otherwise, if you don't have that, once you get to Sweden, you do your biometric first. You do your biometric there then so uh first we are going to see this online e-service platform how you apply online so uh initially let me show you guys something here it was showing uh their language so uh for you to convert to english you just click here click here then everything will be written in english Okay, so the Swedish Immigration Agency, uh, so you go to this uh, mobile bank ID, then, uh, let's do this. So you put it in English, okay, you put in English, so it's going to write in English. Uh, so this is the format, first of all, your personal number. So you come here you create your username and your password okay so you create your username login with the account so you create your username uh, and your password so uh, so you put your username or email address then password then you go from there that's how you apply online okay uh, you see where i clicked 
that's why you apply online so the next we are going to be seeing now we're going to see the uh, form so when uh when you have uh gotten a job work permit for employees and citizens of e non-eu countries so this is where you get the information from if you don't need to apply for a work permit uh you have a permanent resident permit or that, 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 that so if you want to know about work permit this is where you come read it from okay work permit requirements how to apply everything is here we might do a video about this how you apply for a work permit in sweden so and i want to show you guys so this yeah let's see the list of uh sweden embassies okay uh so if you want to see So these are the list you can see they are pretty much everywhere let's go through them slowly you can just look for your own country that's really much so if they are not in your country then you look for uh you see if you are from nigeria they are in abuja they're in abuja so they are pretty much everywhere can see I'm just going slowly yeah yeah they are in UAE they are pretty much Zambia Zimbabwe they are pretty much everywhere so uh, in case you did not find your country then go to look for your the country that is closest closest to your country there in India So now the next, I want to show you guys the uh, work permit application form, how it looks like. So this is the this is the um, work permit application form. So resident permit for highly uh, qualified persons to look for a work or a business. So uh, this is the the job seeker application form and so you come here to be filled out by the authority so this from the authority uh resident permit for highly qualified persons uh qualified persons to look for work or start a business so use this form if you have completed study or correspondent correspond the second circle degree and all that and all that and all that and all that so uh We've said all the requirements before, so I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. Uh, so I'm, I'm applying for a resident permit to apply for a job seeker or investigate the possibility of starting a business for a period of, so you put the period here, beginning from, let's say, uh, August to uh, it's nine months, maximum nine months. So uh, you can say through May 2023. So you put here, month, then before date. So you come here, you put your personal details, uh, your family, your son name, uh, which is your last name or your family name, uh, your previous son name, if you are a woman that changed that name, if you are married, you put your previous son name, then your first name, uh, your place to, uh, your date of birth, and your citizenship, uh, your previous citizenship, uh, place of birth, country of birth, native language if you have one, also speak what language in languages you speak you put them so your marital status are you married divorced you, you put your your sex are you female or male you put here so your passport details those are the things you're going to put here then you come here then you put your uh contact details your address in the country where you live presently uh your email address uh any plant address in sweden if you have one then a, a telephone number you put here so here you come here for your financial support bank assets whatever you click uh you put the details here so you come here your health insurance you put 
uh, compressive air situation remember you have to have one then previous application if you ever have application for palm uh, permit is ready if yes you have uh if you have previously applied to study before you say yes if not if you are if not then you say no so if you have, have you visited Sweden before you will say it or any uh you will put it here then previous studies so your education background you put it here your future plans what are your future plans you put it here then uh, do you plan to uh, to do what do you plan to do if you do not find a work or start a business in Sweden? Are you going to leave Sweden or other? What do you state it? The other information you would like to submit uh, here, you will just say, I will leave. If you are smart enough, just say, I'm going to leave if I cannot find a job. Just if you ask me, my suggestion though. Uh, other information you could like to submit regarding your application, you put here, your decision should be sent to. So where you want it to be sent to, you put it there. Then your uh, documents you you should submit with your application. So these are the documents you put that you're going to submit with this. Then you hereby say I hereby uh, solemnly declare that the information that I've provided is true. That I have not knowingly left anything. Then place to sign uh then you you place and you date then you sign so that says the form so letter of concert uh concert of city council higher education to contact the country of your the the country the country of your education so you consent them to contact your school okay so no you see they are going to do that for you so you sign, you update, and you sign. So you return document to Sweden Immigration Agency. Hmm? And close with your application. Okay, you send it to them. Guys, grab this opportunity. This is the form. Grab this opportunity, check this opportunity out, look into it, and grab it. And grab it I wish you guys all the best if you haven't subscribed to this amazing channel you want to smash that subscribe button click the like button on your notification bell so that next time when I upload a good video like this you'll be notified for my older new subscribers thank you so much I really appreciate you guys I'll see you in my next one be good and be safe bye peace